I forgot to get the cornbread. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a cooking with me type chit chat situation. Kind of need to vent about this week, you know, check in on you guys about how you guys' mental health is doing, all that good stuff. So on today's menu, meatballs, green beans, Spanish rice, and cornbread. I forgot to get and cornbread. I forgot to get the cornbread. So it's just gonna be meatballs, Spanish rice, and green beans. Maybe some toast, I don't know, but I'm gonna pull out the ingredients and get started. Okay, so with me I have my ready to cook meatballs. Now y'all, I am not a chef. This isn't something that I do too often. Y'all thought I heard something. Um. I'm not a chef, I don't do this often. I'm good for a quick microwave meal, okay? But the grouse said they wanted to see me cook, so that's what I'm gonna get a grouse, okay? So I got my ready to cook. I still gotta cook them, so we gonna see how this goes. Publix, these are bomb. Um, I was gonna do spinach rice, but I found this. This is long grain and wild, urgent seasoning rice. And then I'm good for some French style green beans. Um, the regular green beans, they okay, but the French style, they're right here, baby. That's the one. And then I got my seasonings because it was cooking without seasoning. Do you know what I mean? So we're gonna say, oh, and ham. Spray, spray your pots in your pans so your food not sticking to them, okay? okay? So I'm gonna start, of course, by spraying it down. Spraying them real good. All I really need. And I'm gonna go ahead and place, well first I'm gonna cut on the stove. Make sure it's the right eye. I'm gonna put it on like seven. And I'm just gonna brown the meatballs. That's how I'm gonna start. So when you're handling raw food, either use gloves or wash your hands immediately after. I'm gonna wash my hands immediately after. And it's just me, and I got 12 meatballs. But guess what, they are gonna get eight. So I'm gonna just place them and they smell great already. So now that my hands are clean and they're gonna be good in here, I'm gonna start sizzling a little bit. I'm just gonna rotate them, brown them, you can kind of see what that cooking over here. Now I'm not seasoning it yet, and y'all gonna see why in a minute. It's a method to my madness. Okay, I mean I cook often, but when I do, yeah. So I'm just gonna brown them, rotate them a little bit. Whoop, whoop. And I'm gonna go ahead and start my green beans. Now, this is something that my mom taught me. I don't know if this is for like sodium purposes or what, but I drain out like the water that's already in it and I just kind of refill it. I'm gonna show you guys, give me a second. Meatballs, hold up. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm turning it down. That was moving a little too fast for me. Okay, so as I was saying before, my meatballs started cooking way faster than I was prepared for them to. Um, I go ahead and open my can and I pour out the juice that's in there and I put water in it just from the faucet, just to kind of, I don't know why my mom taught me to do this. And um, I do it because she cooks great, so why not? Okay, so just to reiterate, filled it up with regular water. So now I'm gonna pour it into my pot, okay? Like so. Make sure they all in there, toss it in the trash can. And put it on the eye. Turn that eye on. And just let it sizzle and stuff. But I'm gonna season it. So I'm using garlic powder, onion powder, pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna put 
pepper, salt, just to make sure that they're not bland, because I did just replace the water with um, just plain water, whatever seasoned water that was already in there. So I'm seasoning it well. Okay, here, make sure my meatballs not burn. See, that's why I don't cook often, because I can't multitask. A lot of people don't know that about me. I don't multitask well. So cooking stresses me out, to say the least, okay? But I do it when I need to. Cause, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cook for my family in the future, so why not start practicing when I'm here alone? You know what I mean? So yeah, here I am. So seasoning the green beans, make sure they all good and seasoned. Mix in the salt. Where are you at? Oh. Salty. And I'm gonna just let that sit. I'm gonna check on these meatballs because these meatballs is doing the work, okay? They are doing the work. Okay, so for the most part, the meatballs are brown. I don't know if you all can see them. Boom. Don't mind that one that kind of look a little well cooked. That one with the trial. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, probably like, mm, probably like one third cup of water just to kind of make a gravy consistency. I did like this for my mom as well. Adding a little water will create a gravy consistency and just kind of let it cook all the way through. So I'm gonna put the lid on it, let it cook all the way through and come back. And I'm gonna turn this down a little bit to like a medium. You're doing so much. So one fourth cup of water. And a bit. And some more seasoning. So I got oregano, Italian seasoning of course. Just to add a little extra seasoning for it to be yummy. Cause what is food without seasoning? And I'm gonna just do a little onion powder. I don't really want garlic on the meatballs too much. It's just my personal preference. A little extra on the Italian. I love me a good greenery on the meatballs. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna put the lid on. I gotta find the lid. Found the lid. The lid is on. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit to like three and a half. And I'm gonna let that thing sit. I see these green beans back here. Bring you down to a cool medium too, my guy. You are back here cooking up something, okay? Y'all know what I forgot? Butter. Butter. Cause like the arrows say butter make it taste better. So why would I not? Add a little butter to the thing. What a knife. Oh. Stand the knife. I'm gonna direct it off. So yeah, I'm gonna add butter to the green beans. Cannot believe I almost forgot to do that. Come off. Taste better. So here's a little update on the meatballs. You see the gravy down there forming. Gotta make that gravy. Mm-hmm. I almost dropped the ring light, but gotta make the gravy. And um, green beans are back here simmering. And I guess now I just wait because they're not done yet. Okay. So now I'm just gonna kind of let everything simmer. Of course, check on the meatballs. You're good, honey. And yeah, so now let's get into this chit chat, y'all. This week has been a stressful week for me. Well, I don't say stressful, it's just been long. Really tired, really exhausted. So I had to reward myself with some food, you know, a nice home cooked meal because it has been something. My hair, probably it don't look like it's gonna get here in time for when I need it. Stressed. Drove so many miles this week already. 
tired. Um, school is over though. Summer semester is over. Passed my classes, wonderful. So that was a plus. Um, ready to take these braids out of my head, but I'm waiting on my wig. Uh huh. Um, yeah, missing my friends. My friends don't get back to the city until next week. And I go through friend withdrawals daily. Um, it's just been so much, but I mean, it's the little things that try to knock me off my high horse. But nevertheless, I'm blessed. So yeah, that's that's been a rundown of my week. How's y'all's week been? Type in the comments. While you're there, hit that subscribe button and that bell, okay? Do it now. How have you been? How's your week been looking? What's your mental health like? I'm here. Talk to me. I'm gonna respond back. I promise. Get in those comments, get active, okay? For real. So around this time is when I would, you know, be washing dishes, but haven't really used any um that was in the pots. So. I have music playing, you know, jumping around, singing along. But you know, YouTube restrictions. Can't quite do that. Um, so we're just gonna cut to the clip where the food is wrapping up. Okay, so I can show you what I do next because obviously now it's just the waiting period and I kinda did all my venting for the video. So uh, I'll be back. Y'all, I'm really quite sad about this cornbread. Like cornbread, this is my favorite meal. My mom makes this for me whenever I come back home because she knows this is my go-to meal. So I said, why not make it for you The girls said they wanted me to cook, so why not cook my favorite meal? But I forgot the corn. Like the cornbread is the balance because it's flavor in the green beans, flavor in the rice. I dry everything in hot sauce, so it's a little spicy too. And the cornbread, the sweet cornbread balances everything out. I don't even have Hawaiian rolls. Like I can't even get jiggy. But again, nevertheless, I'm blessed because I'm eating. <laughs> Let's go there. So I'm just gonna make the best of it, but I'm really sad because cornbread really tops this meal off. So now I have to drink juice. I can't even drink water with my meal because I need something sweet to balance it out. So juice it is, but I mean, I'm fed. So, um, oh, the steam. I'm gonna kinda break one in half to see if it's done in the middle. If not, I'm gonna leave it in a little longer. It's coming. Now, it depends on if you're gonna follow the, you know, my special, well, my mother's <laughs> special recipe. If you like yours kinda like a medium well, depending on how well you like your meat, what the time will you take it off? See, I like mine minimal pink and right now it has a little bit more than minimal pink so I'm gonna leave it in a little longer until it gets to my liking of meat and then um, I'll show you guys what's next the next step will be oh the rice actually I can go ahead and put on the rice so um this is 90 second rice again I'm queen of microwave okay so you got green beans and meatballs, you're gonna get some microwave rice now. Nah, leave me alone. So this is a 90 second, put it in Uncle Ben's long grain and wild. I have an Uncle Ben's Spanish rice as well. Highly recommend the good stuff. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave, 90 seconds. I think, did I say 90 minutes earlier? I feel like I said 90 minutes. I'm a little sleepy, it's a little late. It's only nine o'clock, but it's a little late. Um, 90 seconds, that's all. Ooh, can you see the steam? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a skin. It's hot. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Um, I'm gonna check the meatballs. Let me steam everywhere. This stuff is in here cooking. Okay, so the meatballs are brown on the inside. Just to my liking. Green beans are good. I'm gonna cut all this stuff off. Already on. I almost that. Wait, you know, the rice. Mm -hmm. Um, meatballs off. So now I'm going to kind of, I guess, set up my plate, huh? This is the part. This is my favorite part. I'm mad about this cornbread. <sighs> wow, like that. 
cornbread another day. I'm gonna come back and redo this with my cornbread because this is ridiculous. So I have my plate. I'm gonna start off with this back here actually. Mm, actually, okay. Okay. So like camera view wise, this okay. Don't have to shut. Y'all don't have to watch me pour the rice. Put the rice on the plate. And here is my steaming rice on the plate. Her. Okay, so then I'm gonna top the rice with the meatballs and gravy. So I'm gonna use a closed um, spoon because the other one has holes in it. So I'm gonna get a little gravy, but I gotta go rinse it off. Rinse off your, even though you wash the stuff and you put them in the um, cabinets and drawers and stuff. Rinse them off. Just, just rinse them. Rinse. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a few meatballs. Look at her. <laughs> With a little gravy. Oh, let me get a little. Oh, you can. I forgot to mention this. You can, if you're trying to, you know, do this. You can do like some thicker gravy by just adding flour. But I'm good with this consistency gravy. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do those. I think it's. Mm, let me get this little half piece over here, too. Okay. Boom. And then the green beans. Oh, green bean. Drain the juice out. I wish I had better presentation skills because this plate ain't really as cute as I thought it was gonna be. But, um. Yeah. This is the meal, okay? This is it. <laughs> so I'm gonna taste it. Well, I got my hot sauce. And then I'm gonna taste it and I'm gonna give y'all an honest review. Even though it's my cooking, I'm gonna give y'all an honest review. I had my hot sauce. So now I'm going to try it. Now I'm going to try it in front of you. I've made this before, so it's not really anything new. But then again, I may have done something different. I don't know. I'm trying to get enough on my foot. It's hot. I'm not trying to burn my mouth on camera. Y'all, I'm not lying. And I'm not over exaggerating, but I don't think I've ever made this good before. Like, I think I added a little, I think I got a little heavy handed with the seasoning, but it did what it's supposed to do. Try these little green beans on. I was heavy handed with the seasons, but it did what it was supposed to do. I give it a 9.5 out of 10 because it's not like my mama's. My mama is, my mama's cooking is a 10 out of 10, especially this meal right here, 10 out of 10. But I give mine a 9.5, actually a 9 out of 10 because I forgot the cornbread. But nevertheless, my friends, just let me know I can cook this for us. We have a mukbang. I'm gonna make the same meal, that's what I'm gonna do. Cook the same thing with the cornbread, and we're gonna have a friend mukbang. So my friends is watching, be prepared. Mm-hmm, cause it's good. So y'all, I'ma go eat my food and then clean up the kitchen, put the food up, cause this is definitely gonna be part two tomorrow, you know, a good leftover, because I had 12 meatballs, and I'm not gonna eat all 12 meatballs tonight. So, everybody who requested this cooking with me video, I appreciate y'all, I hope y'all liked it. I might do more, cause this was kinda fun. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, comment. This is probably not going to be the last because, yeah, I enjoyed it. So thanks for the suggestion. Don't forget to comment about your mental health. I was serious about that. Like, check in on you guys. I'm here if you need to talk. Y'all know my Instagrams. It was in my little intro. Y'all need to DM me personally. I'm here. Period. I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye!